Welcome to Let Us Fan page. My name is Emily Fonwell Oge of Let Us Fan. So today we are going to be learning about using salt as a treatment agent. Yes. So many people have always known that salt could be used as a treatment agent in catfish farm. But what many don't know is there may be other sides to using salt. So before we proceed further, let me use the opportunity to remind you, in case you are just joining us for the first time, this is Let Us Farm page. And all we do here is we try to learn practical solutions to solving all our agri problems. And we do this using direct methods that we're using in our farms with results. And today, many people have also tested, tried it, and it's very, very effective. And please, like I said before, remember, these services we provide, they are absolutely free. So anyone that contacts you on my behalf, that we're forming a WhatsApp page and to pay for anything, kindly disregard that we are not doing any of such and we are not planning to do any of such. Please remember that in case you want to send message or you just definitely want to speak with me, please do that only on my WhatsApp line. Don't call the mobile line. I have tons of calls and I don't like rejecting or refusing people's call whatsoever. Drop your message, I will get back to you. And if it's urgent, call me on the WhatsApp line. Once I pick, that means I'm ready to answer any questions that you have for me. Please kindly remember, this is not to discriminate or disassociate, but it's just a way to help me and help ourselves. So I'll be right back so that we can go into further details. Welcome back. So, like I said before, what we are looking at today is using salt as a treatment agent. Yes, some people may be wondering what type of salt, because we have many types of salt. Yeah. Chemically, we have a lot of salt compounds. So, a lot of things can be tagged salt. Even we have lime salt, what we use to lime our pond before stocking. That's the eating pond. But you see, all these things, they are all treatment agent. But however, most ones that people use in treating their pond or treating some minor infections in the pond is the house salt. Yes, the house salt. Now, you know, in this house salt, we have two types. We have the one that is already processed. That is the one that is packed. It's already baggaged. You see, those ones are company processed. Then we have the raw one that they sell in the market. They just make sure it can sell. Those ones are not processed. Either of the two, they are all very good. But there is a situation here. That's exactly what I want us to discuss. If you watch in most of my videos, and if you've been looking at comments that people always drop, asking some questions of issues they have, like issues of infections, if you notice... I don't always recommend salt. Yes, and there is a simple reason to that. You see, catfish is a freshwater fish. It is not a saltwater fish. So what this means is that catfish is allergic to salt. And yet, we use salt as a treatment agent. Because the chemical component of salt can actually fight and treat some of these infections that disturb catfish. But now, this is where the issue is. The wrong usage of salt becomes dangerous to catfish. So, most of the times, farmers, especially new farmers or people that are not used to it, I wouldn't advise you to use salt. I would prefer you use the normal water treatment method of always changing the water when you have issues. And when the issues are more than changing water, most people that have talked to me, I try everything possible to recommend other treatment agents. Now, many people always look for easy things. And that is why 90% of farmers that use salt see it as a handy, easy thing that 
they've been told we solve the problem. But like I said, what most of them don't really understand is what level are you supposed to use to solve your problem? Some people are told that just put it in the water, it will work. Now, the main situation that brought me about talking about this is a situation that somebody was told to add 50 grams of salt to a pond. He added it, and then the result is what you're going to see now. So this is the result of what happened. And if you look at that, even the, the person himself still don't understand what happened. And it, 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 it made me sad. Why did it make me sad? When he stopped, he had some issues. And I made some recommendations. We are managing the everything was going well. But if you remember, I did a video where I explained the implications of heavy rain in our ponds. So I actually knew that this may be some of the issues that he was having. So I normally, I, for any reason, I don't discourage people. No. I won't discourage, no matter what, I won't discourage you. So what I try to do is I will try everything possible to encourage you and look for ways to manage situations. People that have talked to me will tell you that that is my style. The reason why I don't discourage people is that most people, before they come to fish farm, they already have an idea that this is the breakthrough they want to have in their endeavors and some people have tried many things and some people want to use fish farm as a retirement option some people because other things they tried did not really give them what they want and they heard that fish farm is good so when i see such people and they have the worst of scenario i don't discourage even people abroad wants to see fish farm as an investment option and sometimes the people they hand over to mismanage the situation. And when they talk to me, I won't discourage you. But what I do is we'll look for a way to manage the situation. So in this particular situation, I already saw that there is an issue in the environment. The environment happens to have enough excess water. So each time there are issues, but we're now managing the situation. So these issues was no longer that big blown issues. But to my surprise, you know, everybody likes to listen to people. And this is why most fish farmers fail. You always like to have an idea from Mr. A, have an idea from Mr. B, have an idea from Mr. C. And the problem is that all these A, B, C that keeps bringing their ideas, at the time of bringing their ideas, may not even have fish that they assume they know, or maybe they have pre-knowledge before. So what happened in this situation that I just saw was a kind of scenario like that. We are managing the issues. The issues are getting better. The fishes are growing out. Of all the complain, everything is fine. And all of a sudden, one man at the background with always his own ideas and ideas and ideas was like, all right, solve these issues. Instead of all these things, why not solve these issues using salt? Give them 50 grams of salt. Guy measured 50 grams, put in the pond, come overnight, and this is a disaster. But still don't get the reason why it happened. Now, the issue is the high concentration of salt in the water makes that water toxic. Because catfishes, they are not salt water. Now, do you know that if you are doing smoked fish if you want to smoke it yourself especially those smoked fish that if you buy from the market you see that they did not cut any part of the body but the fishes are dead so will now look they will now make it to be roundish you may be wondering how did these fishes die were they put in the oven when they were alive they were not what they simply do is you pack all the fishes in a bowl and add enough salt turn the fishes with the salt they will die naturally because the salt will now burn them and they will die. 
people do it to preserve the body of the fish and make it look enticing to whoever wants to buy. So, unfortunately, some of us who use salt don't understand the level that salt can go. Salt is an, a two-edged something in catfish farming. So, why I'm saying this is for many other people that may have heard that any situation in your pond, add salt. If you want to add salt, very advisable. Quantity of salt you should add shouldn't be much. You just put small salt. Because if it is much, you see what happened in what I just played for you? Exactly the same situation is what you're going to see. And it's a big problem. Now imagine if the fishes in question were already big, about to be sold. And somebody mistakenly adds salt to treat the pond or treat the fishes. And this happens. What are you going to say? And that is the reason why I am making this video. To tell every one of us that yes, salt is a treatment agent. But me personally, I prefer you using salt to disinfect your pond, to wash your pond, add salt in the detergent, anything like that, wash, treat the pond, rinse properly so the salt goes before putting fish. Whenever you have fish in the pond, I don't advise people to add salt so that you are not tempted. Because, you know, when you are adding the salt, you'll be like, this may not be enough, this may not be enough, so that you are not tempted to use that salt to kill your fishes. That is the reason why I am doing this video. So that whoever is watching will understand that yes, salt is a treatment agent. But at the same time, salt is a destructive agent in catfish farming. For me, it is better to be used to preparation before stocking and must be rinsed properly. Because anything apart from that will spell disaster. Do you have any question in what we've discussed today? If you do, kindly drop that in the comment section. And do you have anything you want me to discuss further? Also drop that in the comment section. And like I said, if you are having issues in your farm, simply do a 2-3 to three minute video and send to 81 353-48909 WhatsApp only. So until I come your way next time, my name is Emily Fonwell Oge of Let Us Farm. Keep farming. It's a way of life.